Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio coming at you guys with a video for you beginners out there who still have no idea what to do when you open this piece of software. Now, it's for me who has been using, I've been using OpenTunes for about uh, around a year now. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I got used to it, but it was some sort of just playing around with it and, um, you know, just looking at certain features. And I understand a lot of you guys don't a lot of, have a lot of questions because you guys don't know how to use the stinking software. So, um, yeah, this... OpenTunes can be a little bit a piece of work sometimes, so we'll we'll try to we'll try to get through this. Um, first, this video is just going to be about using the brush tool and just laying frames on the X sheet. I know it's pretty it's still pretty confusing for some of you people, because believe me, when I started OpenTunes, it was uh, it was worse than this. There wasn't even a save all feature back then. Those are some bad times. So what we want to do first um, is that we want to go to File and we want to go to Preferences, and this is just going to save you guys some time. We're going to go down to I believe Drawing. And we're going to set our level default level type right here to Tunes Raster Level. A lot of you guys who um, just download the software might have a Tunes Vector. And um, I like to use rasters because they're easier to start out with. And um, vectors will probably get you a little bit confused. So after you've done that, you can also put your scan file format as PNG. I don't think that really does much. Um, you can keep it as TIF. It doesn't really do much anything. So we're going to exit. And then all we're going to do is we're going to select the brush tool. And we're going to just draw. Just draw a line. And that's it. That's how you, that's it. Automatically creates a column for you, and a column is kind of like a layer in OpenTunes. It's it's like almost the same thing. Um, and for you people who don't like how the X, how the timeline in OpenTunes it actually goes downwards, you can click this little X E button and then it goes horizontally. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit strange because we have it on the side instead of the bottom, like in a traditional animation program. But we can you know scale it down so we can make our frames this way. And um, what you can even do is that you can take this off and put it somewhere else. Let's put this on. Oh, not there. We can put. We can just keep it floating here if you want to. So a lot of you guys who are coming from another animation software might find that easier. So I'm going to keep that there because it's easier to dock. It's not on to dock it anywhere. So now what you want to do is you want to select your first frame, and um, you're going to draw, and that's your first drawing. And all you really have to do is you know. Select the next frame, draw, third frame, draw. Now I accidentally selected one of these circles, meaning um, this is the circle that allows you, when you click it, it allows your frame to be seen in a render, but we'll get into that later. So now you have your first three frames, and that's really all you have to do. Now, with the brush, you guys have a couple of settings, um, some that I want to tell you guys about. You have the size, minimum, maximum. Now, right now, our size is at two, meaning we can, if you have a tablet, you can have pressure sensitivity. So I can press down very light and then very hard which really helps me. And we have the hardness, which actually um, is almost like an anti-alias feature. So if I put the hardness all the way up, I'll zoom in for you for you guys. Put the hardness all the way up, we have that kind of line. And if I put it all the way to 25, we have a smoother kind of line, if you guys can see that. Um, <clears throat> next, we have the smoothing, which I always keep around 10 or 11. Oh my, I didn't mean to undock this. I can put this back somehow. There we go. Uh oh, here we go, come on. Put put it back, all right, we'll... we'll um, that kind of works. So, um, you guys can select these docs and you can put them in different places. Sometimes it works in my favor. Sometimes it does not. I don't know where I put the X sheet. Um, oh, it's right here. So we can put this right wherever. So I would I would recommend practicing moving around some of the stuff just to get a feel for the software. Um, <clears throat> so um, you have the smooth setting, which allow your lines to be a little bit, you know. Um, a little bit smoother. They'll help you make perfect circles. But if you turn it all the way off, you get you know what exactly what you're drawing on your tablet or with your mouse. Um, now we have pencil and selective. I don't exactly know what pencil does. Um, it probably just renders quicker. I'm not really sure exactly what this feature does. I haven't actually haven't used it in a long time. Um, oh well, pencil just makes the hardness max. It seems because the hardness slider disappeared. So there's that, and then selective, I'm not really sure what does it all. So there you go, there you have it guys. Um, that's really all you have to do, and you can also check it off pressure. And if you guys have a preset that you wanna do, like you know, a certain setting, like this much smoothness, this much, um, this size, I have a sketch preset, which is around 10.51 smoothness, and um, that size of brush, which I use for sketching a lot of my animations. So that's pretty much it for making frames in open tunes. Um, like I said, and if you guys don't wanna use this sort of timeline, I'm gonna. You can just gotta click right here, and it'll go back to the X sheet. We can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna dock it right here, and all you gotta do, guys, is just click, draw, 
click the next frame draw click the next frame and draw so there you guys have your you can have all of your um your slideshow and this repeats it this plays it and that's pretty much it so that's the basic tutorial on how to use the brush and make some frames for you guys so this is really not um anything too complicated i just wanted to get you guys you know hit the ground running while using open tunes um in our next tutorial we're going to be introducing color and some maybe some effects or exporting features i don't know we'll see when we get there i'll see you guys next time peace